Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone's doing well and is having a really good Monday. Um, now, I'm not shooting uh, outside because it's now, it's, it's rainy, it's overcast, uh, the weather, we're going into fall, so it's not really summer anymore. Um, me, I would say that this is like a California winter, so I'm wearing a, you know, a, a, a hoodie right now, but um, um, I just kind of wanted to talk about how uh, the Slovak language uh, can be really difficult to learn, and I've been living here in, in Slovakia for uh, just about a year now, and I feel like I should be able to speak it more fluently than I do, because um, I haven't uh, practiced like every day or all the time, but um, the language can be really uh, tough to learn, um, definitely tougher than something, you know, which it's, it's supposed to be easy like Spanish, but um, a lot of people online say that it's one of the like the hardest languages to learn. I think it's pretty difficult, but it's not the hardest. Like I would think maybe something that's more difficult is probably like Chinese or Japanese um, and maybe even Russian, Russian simply because of the different alphabet. But um, yeah, I've, I've been having trouble like trying to communicate with um, uh, people like family members or if I'm going you know, into a store and I need to ask uh, someone a question about something. Um, I find it difficult to, uh, you know, to, to communicate with them in Slovak because, uh, well, I'm just not very fluent in it, but um, uh, also many people say that, you know, oh, it's fine if you don't uh, speak Slovak because there's many English uh, speakers, and that is true. There are a lot of English speakers, especially in uh, here in Bratislava. Um, if you go into the Stade Mesto uh, area or, you know, in, in, in many, um, you know, in, in many businesses there, there's going to be uh, people who can speak English and especially I would also say uh, the younger generation. Um, now I'm not sure what options they have in school exactly, but I think they can learn like uh, English, German, and maybe something else. So a lot of people choose to uh, learn English. So. The younger generation in Slovakia, um, a lot of people tend to know um, English. Um, so if you're trying to communicate with someone who's older uh, and they're not from Bratislava, they might not uh, speak English. So that can be a challenge at times. But um, you know, if, if you go into um, maybe most other smaller towns uh, in in uh, in Slovakia. Uh, it might be very difficult to find uh, in people who are speaking English. So it would be really helpful, you know, if you're going to come travel out here or live here for a period of time or anything like that, it would be very useful to <laughs> at least make an attempt to learn the language because um, I, I feel like if you're going to stay in a country for a period of time, you should, you know, if it's longer than like a weekend or something, you should at least attempt to learn some uh, words and phrases of the native language, at least how to be polite, I think, you know, like hellos and thank yous and uh, goodbye and anything else like that that might come up. But yeah, um, uh, Slovak is definitely a tough language to learn. Um, I I can't get into so, so many details because like they're is so much that I don't know about it, but uh, there's a lot of grammar, uh, pronunciation can be very difficult, and um, there's just so much to the language that, uh, coming from an English pers uh, like a native English uh, speaker's perspective, um, there's a lot of things to get used to. Like, um, I guess, for example, one thing is how uh, there, there's more use of um, uh, male and female, um, gra like, grammar um, and, and terms, and also um, it w wasn't just like the male and female, but yeah, the formal and informal system, so I guess you could almost kind of say that there's somewhat of a, uh, of a system like that in English too, but it's not very strict, it's just, you know, it kind of, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, I've had uh, trouble uh, uh, communicating with um, family members and people in like smaller villages or towns and you know going to the store and stuff like that so uh, I, I know how to speak um, a little bit I can understand a l better than I can speak but still I am a long ways off from being uh, conversational um, 
I think to, to get to a, a conversational level in any language is a really great accomplishment for someone because it takes a, a lot of time, I think, to uh, learn a language. And it's not just like the period of time that you take to learn a, a, a new language, but it's how consistent you are and you know, what you're doing every day to uh, improve your, you know, your comprehension, your listening, and like your speaking skills. So um, I, I also kind of wanted to uh, just show you guys, this is maybe, you know, going to be more useful for like the English speakers uh, and not so much for like the Slovak viewers of this channel. But um, at the end of the video, I just kind of wanted to show some of, uh, some of the resources that I found out about and resources that I've used and, you know, some, um, I guess, practi uh, practice me uh, methods or things like that that one can take if you're wanting to learn this language because I think it's a great um, it's a great Slavic language to learn like if you're wanting to learn a Slavic language and maybe Russian is too intimidating because you don't want to learn the alphabet or you know maybe just not yet um, or for whatever reason then I think Slovak is actually a great uh, Slavic language to learn because it kind of um, you know, there was there was this infograph that I saw on the internet a while ago. It's from like a like a 1994 um, study of Slavic languages to uh, see what is the lexical similarity between them. And it's kind of like you know, there's um, Western Slavic languages, Eastern and uh, uh, Southern Slavic languages, and um, Slovak. While it leans towards like the Western, you know, in, in the Western category. It was kind of in the middle of everything, so that doesn't necessarily mean that you know all the languages are going to be mutually intelligible between one one another. But um, uh, I think Slovak is a great starting point. Like if you want to learn a Slavic language, but you don't want to learn a new alphabet, uh, Slovak is a great start. So um, yeah, so that's kind of what I think about uh, uh, the Slovak language a bit. Now. Um, Another thing that I can say is that it's really important to, uh, to practice it every day. So, you know, if you just, uh, if you practice like three hours on Sunday and then don't do anything throughout the week, you know, that's not going to help you too, too much. It's better to do, uh, to do it maybe like 30 minutes a day every day, you know, if not longer, but, you know, something every day um, to keep, uh, you know, to exercise your brain, uh, to even think in an, another language and to help uh, memorize, to, um, you know, phrases and words, and to actually understand what they mean. So, um, we're going to have uh, a quick cut here. Um, I'm going to hop onto the computer and I'm going to share some of the resources and other methods um, that I've used to learn the Slovak language. So, let's go. Alright, so here we are now. I'm at my computer and I wanted to share a few uh, resources of how to learn Slovak and maybe some, you know, tips or tricks or methods or whatever to, you know, if, if you want to uh, learn, you know, this language. And this, you know, these things can apply for other languages too, but this is kind of specific to Slovak. So um, there is uh, this website called um, IOM, uh, Migration Information Center. So it's an official uh, Slovak government website. Um, it's a really good resource if you are, you know, wanting to move here. Um, or, you know, even visit here, and if you have any questions about, um, you know, how to stay here, uh, like what are some, you know, technical things to uh, take care of if you're wanting to, you know, live here abroad or something like that. Um, but they also have uh, this page here, which is really useful, which uh, it, itself, it shares a few resources of how you can um, self-learn uh, Slovak uh, online through your computer. So. Uh, there's a lot here, but we're going to um, kind of go through each of them one by one. So uh, the first one that they have listed here is uh, slovake.eu. Uh, now, um, I haven't used this site, but this is supposed to be like, you know, the best or one of the best sites to use. Um, uh, it says here you can uh, study the Slovak language in 13 different languages. So if English isn't your native language, uh, you can and want to learn Slovak, you can use this resource in uh, many other languages. Um, so this is supposed to be like the best one. However, this next one, uh, eSlovak.sk, uh, is um, 
this is the website that I was using for a long time. And this website is really cool because um, it's completely free and you can study independently, meaning there's no um, there's no like lecturer or tutor or teacher or anyone like that. It's just they give you all the materials, like you have to create an account, but they give you all the materials and you go through um, the different uh, sections of the material and like there's parts of like a book and stuff like that in there. And this is uh, a really great resource. Uh, this is the one that I've personally used. Um, so you can study independently, but there's also another way where you're still studying independently, but um, uh, there can be teachers on the other ends um, who are actually checking your work. So you'll do things like not only, you know, you'll, you'll uh, write out like a sentence or like you'll choose, you know, there's going to be like multiple choice questions and things like that. Uh, obviously, like you'll be able to do that, but there's going to be certain sections where you can actually type out a sentence or a paragraph. And even um, they will ask you to do a voice recording and then you have to upload it there, which uh, that can be kind of fun. Um, so uh, that's, you know, to uh, show that you're getting things like pronunciation right. So that's kind of interesting. So um, uh, yes, this is the first choice on this uh, website, the uh, slovakia.eu, uh, but I would really recommend eSlovak. Um, that one was really useful for me. Um, now there's a few other ones. Uh, we learn Slovak. Um, it seems like it's another... Um, you know, online learning platform. Uh, to be honest, the rest of these I don't really know too much about. I, I, I just like mostly have used uh, eSlovak and now it seems uh, pretty good. Now there's also this, um, there's another YouTube channel uh, here, uh, Slovenčina Ako uh, Kudzi Jezik. Um, I've watched a couple of her videos and they're actually really useful, you know, if you're not a native speaker and you're learning Slovak. Um, she speaks very slowly, which is, and very slowly and very clearly, which is very useful when you're uh, wanting to improve your uh, listening skills. So uh, I would also recommend this YouTube channel if you're learning Slovak. Um, and then there's some other resources on this um, page, like there's a podcast and, you know, some other things. So yeah, this is a good resource if you're wanting to learn uh, the language. Now, uh, the other resource is um, uh, dochma.sk. Now, dochma is... Also, another very useful and handy website. Now, I think there's, um, so there's dochma.sk, uh, uh, CZ, uh, Czech version. I think there is like a German or an Austrian version, and there might be a Hungarian version too, uh, and maybe other countries as well. Um, but this is another uh, great website, a great uh, tool. It's, it's a platform where um, uh, students and teachers can find each other and meet. And I know that uh, when we think of the title of teacher, you know, it usually sounds like a position where someone, you know, you go through, you know, years of school and you get a uh, teaching certificate or te teacher's license or something um, and you begin teaching. But this is, um, it's very casual or it can be very casual. Like I've seen some people on this site who do this for a living. Uh, this is their profession. They teach people uh, Slovak or they teach people uh, people English uh, through this website. So there's many people on here who do this uh, as their career or, you know, this is how they uh, uh, earn their money. But there's also um, many other people, which I would maybe consider myself in this other category, where it's a little bit more casual, uh, still can be paid or maybe more like a language exchange thing. But um, uh, I have an account on, on this website and... Um, you know, I've, I've met a few uh, uh, people uh, through this website who started as students and have since, you know, become friends of mine, and it's a very uh, useful platform. Um, again, if, if you want to be a teacher, like if you're a Slovak person and you want to help uh, an English speaker with, you know, with uh, Slovak, or if you want to learn English, um, this is a great resource to take advantage of. Uh, you don't need a teaching, like any kind of a formal education or a license or anything like that uh, to use this website. It's um, uh, it's it, it's you know it's for you know a native speaker of one language to help uh, a non-native speaker of another language mostly. Now there's other things like you can also tutor people in like other subjects, of course, like math, science, biology, um, history, like 
guitar uh, programming, things like that. But um, it, it's primarily geared towards language, even though it has those other areas uh, that people can uh, try to find uh, lectures in. Like, for example, in this, um, there's one uh, lady uh, who I meet with um, uh, two days a week, and I help her with her English, and she helps me with Slovak, so we don't exchange any money, it's just, it's a, um, it's, it's a language exchange kind of thing, so uh, maybe you want to hop on here and uh, find someone who you can have a similar kind of arrangement with. So, uh, dojma.sk is a really good uh, website. Um, and, and for all these uh, websites, I'm going to leave links below in the description section so that if you want to find them quickly, you don't have to uh, search them online manually. Um, you'll just be able to click them down below. Okay. So um, there's one more thing that I wanted to share with you, and it's not necessarily um, a platform like uh, Dochma or the other, um, like, you know, there was the uh, government site that had the list of uh, e-learning uh, platforms, but this one is more just a program. Now, if you're at all interested in any kind of language learning, you've probably heard of this program. Um, it is called Anki. Now, Anki is very useful. It's, um, I think it's originally maybe a, a Japanese program. That's what I would imagine. But um, it is a, um, it, it's a digital flashcard program. It's completely free, and um, it's very simple and easy to use. And we're back. Sorry for the cut. I had to uh, go open the door. Uh, someone came at the door. So um, anyway, uh, the third uh, really useful uh, resource for learning Slovak, and this goes for any language really, is to use a program called Anki. Now, Anki is a digital flashcard program. It's completely free. Uh, I think it might be op open source, but it's completely free. And um, you can just go to their website and download it and start using it. And um, it, it's best for making uh, custom flashcards. So uh, I think you might be able to find online somewhere like pre-made uh, flashcards. Um, if anyone's interested in that, uh, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. And I'll uh, see if I can find like packs or something that you can download and install. But um, I have just made um, custom uh, flashcards for myself and you know it, it's not hard to do it's just something that um, you know as you can see here I've, I've got a lot of like um, you know uh, adjectives uh, body parts uh, colors food and household items that one's kind of a mixture and all these other kind of subcategories and um, you know I've just kind of uh, made these over time like say if I was using uh, that website to learn Slovak or if I would put it in a uh, translator uh, I would uh, learn new word, uh, you know, a uh, word in Slovak that I would put in here, or just through uh, uh, Dochma uh, when I would meet like uh, two times a week with that lady where she and I do language exchange. Uh, I then put, you know, the the word or the phrase in here, and then, you know, once a day, like for 15, 20 minutes or so, I just kind of do these flashcards, and it really helps to keep things uh, fresh in your mind and to kind of exercise like the language learning part of your brain. So um, I think these are some uh, really great resources. Um, so um, let me know if you're a Slovak or uh, a Czech speaker. Um, let me know if you found any of this information uh, interesting or useful. And if you're an English uh, speaker, uh, let me know the same thing. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can um, uh, give this video a like, uh, definitely leave a comment, and if you feel like subscribing, you can do that as well. And I'm really hoping to get um, uh, more videos out uh, talking about my experience in Slovakia and Bratislava and like what are the good places to eat, like where do you want to go, uh, what has my personal experience been like, uh, you know, because it's not the easiest thing, it, it's been uh, tough here and there. So um, anyways, uh, Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.